Roxy, you working out? On your yoga mat? You doing the downward dog? What's a good girl? Yeah. Sizzling pasta. So excited for that. My Aunt Annie sent Corey a care package with a bunch of Armenian food. Check it out. Chudeg. Bobo pilaf. Pilaf. Very low as far as I'm concerned. This is like... I just got all dressed up because I thought I was going to go to this um, premiere of a pilot of a show from a filmmaker in Sarasota. Um, but I just went online and I think it's all sold out. So. Um, and Yuki and I were both going to go, so he's still, he's almost here, so we're going to have to figure out something else to do. We might go see if we can get in somehow, otherwise we're going to go look for something fun to do. Check out this uh, painting I made for my mom for her birthday. A giraffe. Picture of my mom when she was little <laughs> and her sisters. Okay, so we followed the directions and we are completely lost. We have no idea where this place is. Um, it's supposed to be at a Holiday Inn, um, but I don't know. Can't find it. But we did find some really cool houses. I'll show you. We drove by one that looks just like a haunted house. Doesn't that look like a haunted house? Creepy! I'm going there for Halloween. Alright, <laughs> scratch that. We cannot find it. So we're taking this as a sign that it's definitely sold out. Um, but we're all dressed up, so I think we're gonna go get some dinner in St. Armand's. Um, and then we'll think of something fun to do after that. Alright, we decided to go to Columbia, the restaurant. <laughs> um, get some dinner. It's kind of early, but I'm hungry. So. 5.45. Are you hungry? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, then we can walk around and stay in our How is it? Pretty good. <laughs> I like it. Got some sangria. Reminded me of Spain. Uh, we're here at Colombia. It's a really beautiful restaurant in St. Armand's. Enjoying some sangria. We got a salad and you got a chicken? Some sort of chicken. I forgot what it was though. <laughs> Yuki always has to order based on the picture on the menu. And there's no pictures. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Alright, you can I finished our own picture of Sangria and we're now gonna walk around for a couple hours before we need to drive home. <laughs> yeah, too. It was really good though. I'm really happy to be there. But <laughs> not sure where we're walking. <laughs> Wait, watch out. Sunset. Oh yeah. The beach. This lens is so wide. I'm not even used to it. Wow, it's so pretty. When Jesse and I were here, it was so windy. Like, you couldn't even hear anything on the camera. Really? <laughs> That's really pretty. It's almost sunset, isn't it? Is it not yet? 
When's sunset? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's like eight. Eight? <laughs> <laughs> Yuki really wants to skimboard, so he's gonna go get his skimboards and his bathing suit. <laughs> I guess he's like perfect skim right now. <laughs> I don't know if it's too far. I don't know, but I really want to try. Yeah, you should try. I should have more space on my camera. Okay, the sun is almost down, and Yuki would like to get some skimboarding in, so we're racing the sun right now. You never know. You never know. The sky's like really pink behind you. Yeah. Like, it's cold? Not really, but... <laughs> <laughs> By the time you're actually at the way, you like don't have much to do. Yeah. But it's fun. About to lose all sunlight. But he's not giving up. He's gonna attempt to surf, even though it's dusk and it's shark feeding time. So I'm a little nervous for him. It. It's about to be like pitch black out. <laughs> all right. No way. So he's surprised by the fact that he has a Ferrari. Actually, or that he gets an accident from it. But how old is he? He's pretty young. Did you watch the VMAs? Uh -huh. Um what's his girlfriend saying? What do you have? What about it? Get it! Alright, made it home safely and it is now time for my favorite comment of the day. First of all, I just wanna say thank you to you guys because you gave me so many great answers um, to my question, what would you do if it was the end of the world? Um, I put them all into a Word document and I'm gonna, I've read almost all of them, but I want to you know, look over them and uh, write down some of my favorites and just kind of work off of those. Um, so thank you so much. They were seriously, a lot of them came straight from the heart and I, straight from the heart and I really appreciate it. Um, so one of my favorite comments was a really simple one. If the world was ending tomorrow, I would tell every single person individually exactly why they made my life worth living. Perhaps I should anyway. Um, and I just, I really like that comment. I don't know why, but it, it's the one that stuck in my head after reading all of them. And I think it's because of the part where they say perhaps I should anyway. And it made me think, and it made me think about all the uh, comments that you guys left all the things that we don't do because the world isn't ending tomorrow um, and that things that we maybe should do uh, while we're still around. Um, so thank you for that comment. Um, over the next couple days I'm gonna you know read over all the ones you guys all the comments you guys left and um, I'm gonna start writing my screenplay and I will update you on the progress as I go along. Um, 
So yeah, I'm exhausted. I have a lot of editing to do tomorrow, so I'm going to go to bed, and I'll see you then.